okay, you've done the work, you've sent out the sales invoice, but guess what? Your customer hasn't paid you. Why not give them a prompt by sending them a statement? You can do that in Xero. Let me show you how. Okay, there's a few different places we can go to if we want to send statements. We can go to the invoices owed to you section and then we can choose send statements. Also, if we're back on the dashboard, we can go to accounts, sales and then send statements. When we come to this section, send statements, what we can see is we have a list of all our customers who owe us money. We can see the balances in order and we can also see in red if anything's overdue. Now it looks like I seriously need some zero training because my credit control here is dreadful. But let's decide, right, okay, it's bad, but we're gonna sort it out. We're going to send some statements. First of all, there are two statement types. There's an outstanding or an activity. Now I'm going to choose one customer so that we can look at this. Let's choose, this is who I want, Jammy Sports. I'm going to click on Jammy Sports and this takes me into an outstanding statement. Outstanding means it simply shows me what's still due to be paid and it defaults to the end of last month. So if we click on the calendar, we can change the default if we wanted to today's date. It depends what you want. The end of the month might be good, but if you're sending statements out eight days later, that might not work if somebody has paid you since that date. So we'll choose today's date, update. So what we can see, Jammy Sports are owes three invoices and they are listed here. If we click print PDF, it will just show us what this statement looks like. There's a branding link to it. If we're happy with that branding, it's just how it's going to look. We select OK and we wait patiently. And now on screen, we can see what the statement will look like when we send it to Jammy Sports. Simply a list of the invoices that are due and a total. So that's outstanding. Now let's look at the other option and let's choose activity. Now when you choose activity, you get a date range and you can say update. Again, it do defaults to the month before. Now what you'll find, because the debts from Jammy Sports are old, choosing this date range doesn't actually give us any activity because nothing has happened from the 1st of December. So if we go right back to when we started with Jammy Sports, and I'm actually going back to 2015, we can update. Now you can see open balance is zero and then activity means that you see every single transaction, whether it's an invoice or a payment for Jammy Sports. The end result is the same. £2,310 due. I prefer the other style, the outstanding. Activity is good if you're just trying to make sense. Maybe there's something gone wrong on a customer's account. Maybe it's a bit messy or maybe the customer is not sure what's happened on their account. They might ask for a statement so they can clarify what they've been invoiced for and what they've been paid. Maybe they want to check it to their own records. Again, if we selected print PDF and OK, here we have on screen what it will look like when we send this to our customer. One difference here, it says statement and then it says activity next to it. So preference is definitely for the outstanding, but it's your choice. So now what do we want to do? We want to email it to our customer. So we select email. It takes us into a statement template. We could amend that template if we didn't like that wording or 
we can amend it here as it's being sent out. So if we wanted to personalize it, we could. It doesn't say an awful lot here. It's just saying, here's your statement. We might want to be a bit more blunt. We might want to say, please arrange payment as soon as possible. We might want to say this is overdue. This is where you would change it. One thing I would say about statements in Xero, there's not a record that you've actually sent statements to your client. So because of that, you might want to choose the send me a copy. I don't normally do that. If we send a sales invoice, I wouldn't send a copy to myself. But for a statement, if it's a tricky customer and they're going to say, oh, you didn't send me a statement, anything like that, it might be worthwhile to tick this box and then send just means that the statement goes to your customer. I'm just going to recap because I'm going to go back to accounts and sales and back to send statements. Now what we did there was we looked at one customer only by clicking on them. We might want to send a batch of statements so we could select all our customers that have got amounts outstanding and then we could just go straight to email. Or we could say, we'll only send statements to the customers with overdue amounts. We could remove those two. Or we could also say, okay, I've spoken to these guys. I know why they haven't paid. They're waiting on something. I won't hassle them with a statement. I will remove that one. And then when you went to email, Zero so would just double check that you have an email in the system for all your customers. The red box means you haven't and you need to complete that. But otherwise, if you had emails, addresses in there, 11 statements would now be sent to your customers. Again, the wording can be changed. And then we have the send copy option again. And then when you're happy, you would just say send. I'm not going to because there's lots of missing addresses. I will just cancel. Okay, finally, Another place that you, that you might go, you might actually be in contacts. We might just be doing something in our contacts and we say, oh look, I don't like this, they're overdue. Why don't we send them a statement? So you can straight from the contacts screen, you choose options and go to send statements. And it takes you straight to default as the outstanding statement as at today's date. Now that's today's date because we have said that's what we want our default for statements to be. If we change that date, if we wanted it just to be the 31st of December, because we've made that change, we would choose update. And then from this screen, we would just go straight to double check if you want to print PDF to see how it looks like, and then straight to email. Again, that's your statement sent to your customer just by choosing send. And that's how you send statements in Xero. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.